Hi guys and gals, I just want to go through the process today of um, lining up tracks and placing a marker for easy alignment when you're working and collaborating with different musicians. And um, this is a track that uh, I'm working with, with uh, Neil Mack. It's a tune called Made of Stone, and uh, we're just going to be working up a, a mix and so forth. And if I was... Uh, going to share these tracks with other musicians, I would want to export each track as a SAP on its own and uh, however I, I would need to put a sync mark in so that um, the tracks are ensured that they stay aligned. So I'd want to put a sync mark at the head of each one of these tracks and I'll show you how to do that. Um, before we start though, what I want to do is buy myself some time on this track. Uh, let's say I was going to accompany uh, along with some guitar or keyboard or something. Um, I would need time to get over to my guitar in order to start recording. And as you can hear in this case, the track starts right away from the zero point. And what I would need is uh, about 15 seconds or so of time in order to uh, buy myself so I can get over and sit down and uh, get in front of the microphone. So the way I would do that is I've just selected all seven of the tracks that are in this particular tune and I would move them all together by selecting all of them and move them 15 seconds or so in time. Now they've maintained their relationship in time, and uh, it, it buys me the 15 seconds. So, now that we have the tracks moved back, what I would do is we need to make a stick hit or some kind of a mark so that we can put it at the head of the file of each track. So the way that I would do that is I would uh, generate a new track, stereo track, generate a click track, me number of measures, one measure, and there it is there. Zoom in on it, and there's our four clicks. Sound like this. It's quite loud, so I'm just going to turn the whole thing down, amplify, take it down by 6 dB or so. Now play it. And then what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> we only really need the one, one hit right at the very beginning of the file, but in this case, I'm just going to, uh, <clears throat> actually, I'll get rid of these other three. We don't need those. So now we have the one hit right at the very beginning of the file. <clears throat> and I can place that hit anywhere. It doesn't have to be at the exact, exact beginning. I can put it anywhere I want. As long as that hit stays the same everywhere. So we'll just put it here starting at about a tenth of a second into the tune. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to take my tracks and I want to duplicate this stick hit that we have for each track. So control D, I'm just going to duplicate. Don't copy and paste. If you copy and paste, there's too much of a chance for uh, placing the track when you paste it down, placing it a few frames out. So duplicate places it in the timeline exactly um, as it uh, originally is. So <clears throat> by duplicating. So control D is what I do for duplication and audacity. And um, this is a free audio editor, the program that I use, audacity. And uh, it's quite good for doing edits and so forth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just take the track that I, I want. And this is uh, a vocal track. So I'll control C, copy the name of that. And then I'm going to select both the vocal track and the stick hit track. And I'm going to mix the two together, mix and render the two. And then go up to the name, name it so it's a vocal. There's the vocal again. And now I have my stick hit and the vocal track. There's the 15 seconds of time that goes by. 
<clears throat> and then as the as we get closer, that gives me a chance to sit down, get in front of the mic, and away we go. So that's that. So that you would just do the same thing with all the other uh, tracks that you have. Select them and uh, mix and render them. And then they all end up with this nice little handy mark right at the beginning here. And now it's easy. When you bring the tracks in, you just simply slide them backward or forward in time. and it'll be exact. So there we go. That's how to line up tracks in Audacity. Hope that helps.